Hello and welcome to Football Tenable, the series in which you're looking for 10 different things from a football-related category. And today we're joined by James Olcott. How are you doing, mate? I'm nervous, but I know that's not good for me. So I'm going to try and stay as zen as possible. It's a very common theme on this series. The guests will always be like, oh, it's it's something you've not done before. But um, you have a little bit. You've done it on Football Daily. I did, yeah. Which didn't go great. The thing is, like, you talk about football all the time. People then kind of suggest that you don't know what you're talking about. But what I've found as the years have progressed is that... In the sort of childhood years, it's just like it goes in and it stays in. But then as you get a little bit older, there's sort of gaps. Yeah, Derby County up to like 2015, I'm really good on. But these last few years, some of the stuff that's, well, to be honest, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened at the club recently. So there's a lot to remember. But yeah, some of the recent stuff, I just kind of, I kind of forget the pain, to be honest. That's what you do. Anyway. Let's Let's dive into the first category. You've got five minutes for this, which is a bit of a pressure as well, um, but plenty to It's basically one answer for 30 seconds kind of thing. And the first category I would like you to do is free transfers that happened in the previous transfer window. Oh, don't do that to me. That's a little bit of a interesting one, but your time starts now. Free transfers? Yeah, I I don't know if I've gone a bit too hard. Oh, okay. How Your many, second one's nicer. I'll how many lives that. have I got? you got three lives, and then you can gamble your fourth life, but if you get it wrong, you lose all your points, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'd say three lives. That's probably right. easier. Um, okay, one name that popped into my head, uh, Johnny Evans. Yep, Johnny Evans to Manchester United. Very nice. I've got one. That's good. Good start. Jefferson Lerma. Jefferson Lerma to... A Crystal Palace, is it? Yeah, that is a free, yeah. <laughs> Just double checking. Absolutely Maybe think about. outside the Premier League, another league. There's a few in there. What? So free transfers anywhere? Any tra- Yeah, anywhere in the world of football. Mate! <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There's a particular league, though, that's come into fruition recently. Oh, mate, I don't know much about... So, okay, Barcelona. Um, This is horrific. Oh, um, I'm not even thinking of Barcelona. Uh, uh, maybe there is one. Romeo. You have to take your life off for uh, Oriol Romeo, unfortunately, because he's not a free transfer. Did he cost money? He was three million euros to Barca. Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. You got some very interesting names. The ones that I wouldn't think. Well, of. You're giving I'm, me I'm... different leagues, though, aren't you? So yeah, you get. No, no. No, do you mean championship too? Yeah, championship. If you've got oh. if you've got free signings. <laughs> oh right, Abby, there we go. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. Steve Cook. Steve Cook. Yeah. Amir Begovic. Yeah. Uh, Jack Colback. Yeah. I'm thinking of another league as well that's had a lot of free transfers. Scottish League. No. Head, head East. Oh, no, okay. Oh, well, yes. Lovely. Delicious. Yes, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You're a kind go. man. You're a kind man. Okay. Uh, right. So I got... So, um... Oh, God. I'm just going to say it. Benzema? There we go. Benzema. Thank you. Real. Benzema. There's been a few fees in that league, though, so... I know. And I got, I got undone by that. There's surely loads in the championship. There's so there. many, but I'm just got. I'd probably just name all Derby players. <laughs> just literally. Have we signed any more likely. players? But you did, you did get, yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look at QPR. Got any more? Oh, um. God, I'm just scared to get his name wrong. Ooh. Sorry, there, is, there is another one. I know. I just QPR. literally. Oh, Paul, Paul Smith. <laughs> Paul Smith. Yeah, that's a free transfer. There you go. Yeah. Great names on here. Yeah. Um. <laughs> It's, this is amazing. Right, hang on. Breathe. Ten seconds now, sorry. I, did, I didn't okay. really uh, um, <laughs> count you down much. Um, and Neymar? And there's your time, unfortunately. Neymar was a fee, so it wouldn't have counted uh, I anyway. just kept saying, um, I kept thinking names, and then the names had... Sh- I was like, surely transfers. they've still got time on their yeah, contract. Yeah. Like Mane? Yeah. Mane cost money? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Mane was a little bit from Bayern. Um, you could have said in Golan Kante for the Saudi League. He was oh, free from Chelsea. It's horrific. It's just um, horrific. Eight out of ten. That's a solid scoring. I've been saved by QPR there, though. I don't care about transfers. I really don't care. I guess, yeah. They are quite, I don't know. So, but, I like but, them for the quiz stuff. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just, they don't resonate with me at all. <laughs> it's oh, not your area of the game. Okay. But uh, it's good. Your turn to give me one. Okay. So teams, teams to finish bottom of the Premier League... Ooh. This millennium. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Dead last. But there's probably one or two that have finished bottom twice kind of thing. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Three, two, one, go. We will start off with Norwich City. Correct. At 17, I think. Yep, uh, 2021, 22 as well. 2019, 20 as well. Yeah, they've got a few. 
Norwich, nice. Um, bottom of the Premier League, we will go for Derby County. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's something that could bring us together. Record breakers, yeah. True, yeah. Uh, 11 points, 2007, 2008. Huddersfield. Huddersfield is correct, 2018, yeah. 19. Because it's an interesting team. That's why I put Luton not in my Premier League predictions to go down. Because it's teams like Huddersfield where they come up for one season, do well. Yeah. And then it's the second season syndrome that causes them to relegate. I agree. Like It's that it's that energy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We will try Sheffield United. Yes. This is too easy, isn't it? Sheffield United. No, correct. 2020. Next up, we will go... The QPR, I don't think QPR came rock bottom. Yeah, let's try QPR. Why not? Yep, correct. Twice, sadly. Yeah. Twice bottom. Twice Even Darwin done twice bottom. 2012, <laughs> all right. 2013, <laughs> 25 points. And 2014-15 with 30 points. Oh, Watford. Watford is correct. 2006, 2007. I'm kind of just thinking of those yo-yo teams that go up and down. I don't think Leeds were rock bottom last year. Who was it last season? I can't even think. Who came bottom? Southampton, there we go. Correct. Yeah. So that's crazy about Southampton is they went down to League One, then shot back up to the Premier League. Can be done. Yeah. Hopefully Derby could do it. Yeah. Keep your two after this year. Yeah. Oh, Sunderland. There we go. Surely they at least once. Yep, correct. Yeah. 2016 17, 24 points. Uh, mm -hmm. Also in 2005 and 6, and also in 2002, 2003. Less than a minute to get two more. I'll try Fulham then. Go on. Fulham yeah, is able. correct. Yep. Uh, 2013 Ooh. 14, 30 points. One more. I'll try Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough is wrong. Oh, not tenable. There we go. Not tenable. I've only got 10 seconds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what team could I throw out? Just a team. Just uh, ever. No, Everton. I've come down yet. Sorry. <laughs> There's my tie off anyway. <laughs> All right. Nine. Nine. Um, I'll take that. That's, oh, you start. Uh, you time up. Keeps it interesting. Okay. Time up. Time up in days. Yeah. Yeah. Name name some of the others that could have. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty. So yeah, Portsmouth, West Ham, Wolves, oh, yeah. Aston Villa, 2015-16. Oh, yeah, Villa Villa did really badly that year, didn't yeah. they? They got like 20 odd point, like not even 20 or something. Uh, 2000, 2001, Bradford City, Leicester City in 2001, 2002. And that's about it. That's not too bad then. Yeah, I think you did pretty well. I'll take it. One point extra to me going into the second round then. And the category doesn't have a time limit. So you've got all the time you want to think okay. this through. And what I want you to name me is 10 outfield players to play as a goalkeeper. Okay, 10 outfield players to play in goal during their career. Yeah. Vinnie Jones. I'll have to search that one up because I'm not aware. But I assume since you're so confident with it first, yes. I assume he has. Yeah. Pretty sure he has. Is that I for think Wimbledon? It was for Wimbledon, yeah. And he was he was yeah. pretty good. I mean, he's pretty frightening. So yeah. I think he, so <laughs> he, like, he commanded, commanded his box pretty well. <laughs> Got to be honest. Yeah, yeah. That is correct. Lovely. I'll have to watch the highlights on that. Yeah, that's a good one. Dexter Blackstock. At <laughs> <laughs> the forest. I, it was. Oh, it really? might have been for us. I just saw his face. I saw him in a goalkeeper shirt, and it just came out of my mouth. I, that might have been. That might Brilliant. be regretful. I feel like he did. Maybe Southampton. Maybe. Oh, uh, or. It is. It is Southampton. It is. Yeah. And he Black did. Stock does count. Come yeah, on. That does work. See, these are the niche ones. There's, there's a lot more obvious ones than the ones you're throwing out. But right I, now. I do now like it. Th this isn't a declaration. I don't know if I'm just thinking of him because I've just said Dexter Blackstock, but I have got. Leon best in my head, but that's not. I'm not putting that forward just yet. I'm gonna put him on the sort of on the on the bench. Let's go with the easy one. Phil Jagielka. Yep, that's a good one. Good old Jags. Harry Kane. Yep. Okay, now I'm struggling. They've had to go mm. in goal, so things have gone wrong. Red cards. Red cards. Or injuries. I'm just. I'm in Old Trafford for some reason. I like a red card there. They like a red card. Alan Smith. Alan Smith for Man United. Yeah. Thinking, or, yeah, or Leeds United maybe. When yeah, you go. don't think that is correct, unfortunately. So I'm going to take one of your lives off. That is your first one gone. I can't get the context, so I need to find sort of picture them. Yeah, I'm just picturing yeah. people. I'm just putting people. In, I'm doing a fashion show in my head. <laughs> there is a very recent one. I'm surprised you've not got that one yet, to be honest. Oh, there is actually a recent one for, uh, for a club you'll know. For us. Yeah, for QPR. What about um, Richard Dunn? Richard Dunn. <laughs> He loved the red card. <laughs> He'd be quite ironic. Card. The goalkeeper getting sent off. 
But he's a big, you know, Irish lad, might know his stuff in between the sticks. That might be Ooh. a road I might have to go down. It's not Richard Dunn, unfortunately. Now I'm seeing loads shame. of now I'm seeing loads of Irish players. Mm. Oh, what about <laughs> oh my god. John Terry. There we go, John Terry. So when Petacek and Carlo Codicini both got injured oh, in that him? game, uh, John Terry was the goalkeeper. Uh, oh, Sorry. shutting the Rio? Rio did in goal, yeah. Come on! Rio's got in goal. That is <laughs> crazy. 2008 FA Cup quarterfinal versus Portsmouth. Uh, AC Milan. No. There's one for Derby as well, and I'd be kicking myself for who it is if I didn't get it kind of thing. Derby? As a name, I've... anyway. Right, I've got yeah. a name there. Does he have blonde hair? Have you? Maybe. Robbie Savage. <laughs> yes! It is Robbie. <laughs> thing is, I'll, I'll, if I could just chuck names at you, we'd get there. Yeah. But I can't... Yeah, yeah. But it's with the lives. You've got to choose wisely. Can we do Leon Best? You want to want to check him up? Yeah, I want to ch chuck him in. See if he's... Uh... I think I'd regret it. Unfortunately, oh. I don't think he is tenable. So that is your third life. Now it's whether you gamble your points that you've got seven of for an extra... Guess if you've got one, but I don't think you've really no, got anything I'm in there. These will just I'm be out. random. Yeah. That was I'm really not enjoying this at all, Luke, just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've given you a rather it's because of the recent one, which we'll come to. Um, but some older ones which yeah, are great like genuinely crazy that played in goal. Just gonna come. Oh, De Stefano. That's like one of those little things that you might uh... like pick up. Pele, Gerd Muller, Bobby Moore, Glenn Hoddle. <laughs> Like these massive footballers at some point. Peter Beardsley as well. Wow. The very recent one yeah. was for AC Milan and it was Olivier Giroud. Oh my God. I thought you might have just got that. That was the one I thought was the give me. That's awful. Okay, your turn. Let me give you a tough one. Top 10 Spanish Premier League goal scorers. Ooh, that's nice. I'm actually going to start with a midfielder. Cesc Fabregas. That is correct. Fifth on yeah. the list with 50 yeah. goals. Just thought the amount of years he's been in the league, surely. Because he was quite a goal scorer at Arsenal. Assist too, right? And I guess Chelsea as well. Probably yeah. took a few free kicks. But yeah, Arsenal is a lot more attacking, actually, as a player. Fernando Torres. He is. El Nino. El Numero Uno. Luke. Oh, very nice. 80... Nice to get number one. Yeah, 85 goals. Well out in front. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that as a clue, I guess, as well. David Silva. Did he get the goals, though? Did he get the goals? He did get the goals. He is sec yep. second on the list. Really? 60 goals. I was putting him mid-table. I guess he had a decade, didn't he, pretty much? Yeah, I guess. I'm struggling for Spanish. Ooh, I don't know if he'd even be up there. Because he's only played for Chelsea again. But I don't know if he'd have enough to get into the top 10. I'd put him as a maybe. My maybe is Morata. But I don't know if he had long enough at Chelsea and enough goals. Oh, another Chelsea one, actually. Surely he's up there. Diego Costa. Locking that in? Diego Costa locking in. Costa is correct. He is number th yeah. three on the list with there we go. 53 goals in the Premier League. Only one for Wolves. <laughs> yeah. Although, I tell you what, that actually took him from fourth to third. Lovely. I do wonder if there's any uh, like defenders on there. I don't know why. I'm trying to go through teams, basically. Oh, one matter. One matter. For the longevity. Is correct. 52 goals. Just missing out on the top three. I feel bad for Mata. I just don't think he was treated well at United. I think I don't think he had long enough in the Prem though. Pedro. I know he was good, but I just think he only had like two or three seasons at Chelsea and probably only like seven or eight goals a season, if that. But I think he did win the Prem, funnily enough. Uh, yeah, I think he with was that. Conte. Yes. Yeah. With Fabregas, I think, and Costa probably. Yeah, and Marcus Alonso. But I don't think he's got the goals, has he? I'll try Maratta then. Go on. See if Maratta's on there. That is your first life lost. Gone. There we go. Maratta gone. Yeah, I just thought he might have had like two seasons of like 15 kind of thing. A lot of Spaniards at Chelsea, isn't it. there? Yeah, yeah. And another one that was in the Prem for a few years, Xabi Alonso, but I just don't... I remember some iconic goals for him, but I don't think he got enough. I think it was against Luton in the cup that he scored from the halfway line. Yeah, he did, yeah. He should go my, uh, Real Madrid next season with the way he's doing at Leverkusen. That yeah. seems like a pretty straightforward move. What else? 2000s. I do think there is an older name in there. But where would it be? Do you, do you want me to help? Right, so I, I'm just... So you add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you're on 15... How's that right? 15 points. I guess that is right, yeah. So I'm only technically two points off winning the episode. So one point off drawing. I don't really want any clues because I think that'll just... Okay. I don't know. Maybe maybe give me one clue. Maybe one. 
if you want to be nice. I'll give you a clue. Oh, here's a clue. Of the remaining players, none of them are central strikers. Act. Yeah. Because the only other strikers I could think were like Iago Aspas, not enough goals. Michu, for example. Maybe right. maybe Michu's a bit... I think you'd put Michu as a striker, though, surely. Okay, here's a nervous one. None of the players remaining are playing in the Premier League this season. That's, that's more than enough, because that just means, you know, just disregard anything current. See, I'm thinking like, ooh, would Alvaro Negredo have got enough at City and Borough? Yeah, why not? We've, we've only used one life. We'll try Alvaro Negredo. Negredo is not ooh. on the list. Cause he got a good, he got a good 15, 16 at City one season. So I was like, wasn't he a central striker? That is a good point. You have given me that <laughs> completely disregard the clues. And you from Tottenham Hotspur, and surely not Robert. No, because he's a striker. I don't know why I was even going to consider Soldado. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did just think the Fernando Lorente, but again, he's a striker. So but he got a good like 15 at Swansea, and then another 15 or so at Spurs. So I'm surprised Lorente is not on there. Do you know what? Because I've said him earlier. I've got to, I've got to try him. I'm going to try Alvaro Morata. I thought you've already tried Morata. You've already tried Morata. Tried yeah, him. I wrote him down. So you, you've already Let's tried not try him. him. Okay, okay. Twice yeah. he's wrong. Yeah, yeah. But Twice he's only wrong. take away one line. <laughs> he's a striker as well, so it's just completely pointless putting him in there. Oh, there we go. I'm going to try Jesus Navas. Please. Jesus Navas. Locking it in? Yeah. That is your final life. Gone. Oh. That's not tenable. I just thought the years at City again. Just surely oh, would have got him is this so you know so now is your option to keep going or gamble to... gamble the episode or lose all my points i've only got five haven't i so but you don't lose the episode by losing this one category do you no because you've got the points from the first round and the second round that's how i do it so you do it on points over the episode oh i see sorry are we, have it's we not got another round necessarily we've not got another round no 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 two 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 oh yeah, my this god this is the last <laughs> no so you've oh i wanted one more go over. i'm devastated Oh, okay. We, right. can, we can have another go if you're, if you're really excited for it. I might have to have one more round. I would like to have one more round. I mean, yeah, if if that's what you want to do, if you've got oh, that, time this for whole it, episode, I thought I thought we had a third round, so no, I was okay. like, three three kind of makes sense though, because it's like on the round. That would be a more sensible thing, because <laughs> yeah, then you do it I, I round per round. Yeah. But I do it on accumulator points throughout ah. the episode. Let me try then if we're going to do another category. Actually, no, let's, let's keep my points if we're going to... Yeah. Let's keep my points. Yeah. Cash them in. Why not? Uh, give me a clue for some of the players that I'm missing. Okay. I'm sure so y- two of them you said. So Ferran Torres. No. Nope. Who else did I say? Uh, Aspilicueta? Both played for Chelsea and it wasn't Aspilicueta. wasn't Aspi. Pedro. Yes. There we go. 29 goals. And right quite near the start, you said another one. He's a left back. I think he's a left back. Chelsea. Marcus Alonso. Marcus Alonso. Really? 26 Jesus goals. Christ. I guess he did them free kicks, yeah. Yeah. You've got a current Premier League manager. Mikel Arteta. Mikel Arteta. I should have got Arteta. That is the one, like, Everton goals and, yeah, yeah. Uh, sixth on the list, played for mm-hmm. Newcastle and Leicester City. Went from Newcastle to Leicester City. Um, oh, Jose. Jose, Jose Perez. Perez. And then yeah. l- last in ninth spot, just above Alonso. God, I'm amazed by this. Rodrigo. Ah, from Leeds. But the thing about him is he did a loan to Bolton like years ago. So I wonder if those added on as well. If you got right. Maybe. Yeah. Right then, James. Let's go into the third category, which we usually don't do, but you're so excited to uh, play <laughs> Tenable. You just don't want to go. <laughs> yeah. So excited to embarrass myself. But here we go. Redemption arc. You watch. Yep. Yep. Right. What I want you to do, James, got all the time you want. And I want you to name me. The last 10 players to score in the World Cup final before the 2018 final. The last 10. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just the players. So but, from obviously. so starting in 2014. Yeah, 2014 backwards. Okay. So 2014, the winners were Germany and... Uh, yeah. Some people say I look a bit like him. Mario Goat, sir. Yeah, Mario Goat. So, so that's 2014. We then moved to 2010. 2010, the was Spain... Yeah, of course it was Spain. And it was our boy, yeah. who actually looks like my best mate, but you guys won't know that, um, Iniesta. Lovely. Andreas. Very nice. 2006, mm-hmm. we have ourselves... We have my ourselves a, final. Yeah, we have ourselves a headbutt. I'd just landed in America, in Salt Lake City, because I was going to be coaching football for the summer. And it Lovely. was one all, and both members of the headbutt scored, I think. So I will go with Zidane with the gorgeous penalty that is actually 
probably as good a penalty, although it looks precarious, as you can have. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, yeah, I feel like it was Matarazzi who scored. It was, it was. Zidane penenked it yeah. in the seventh minute of the match. Filthy. <laughs> she started the World Cup against prime January Luigi Buffon. Amazing. Just Amazing. Unbelievable. 2002. Oh, okay. We've got, so we have a 2 0 win. I'm in my wheelhouse now. See, I've got places to go now. Uh, with a horrific haircut, the boy, the man, the myth, R9, Ronaldo, scoring two goals against Oliver Kahn. Where are we now? 1998. Well, it's Zidane again, twice. For Zidane, you've already given us answer. Yeah, so, so we don't bother. So we keep moving. Yeah. The players before. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. So D Zidane scored two headers, and then it was a 3 0 win, and it was a gorgeous goal. And uh, if I may plug the channel, I have a format called Dream Teams, and I interviewed this player he did actually <laughs> and he does the most incredible ray parlor impression it's emmanuel yeah. petit very good indeed yeah 1994 uh oh oh okay so that's oh. nil nil no goals then no goals so we go back no. to 1990 and that was a drab affair maradona's argentina had got to final having beaten i want to say well having beaten italy on penalties i think it was the left back andres brema who scored a penalty. I think he played left back, but took penalties with his right foot. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Okay, 1986. Uh-oh. I'm debating whether I count... Do you know the score from that game? I see. It's 3-2. Yeah. It's whether I count the last three, so the latest three scorers, or do I be nice and just let you have any three from that game? That is the question. That is the question. Maybe I'll just do. It's 1986. If you can name me the goal scorers, I'd better play. I'm not sure I can. So Rummenigge was one. I thought he scored two, but he didn't. Yeah, Rummenigge, 94th minute. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 74th minute. Oh, what's his bloody name? I'm struggling with the Argentinians. I think I've got a German one. Maradona didn't score. He made the assist. Okay, let me get the German one. Rudy Voller. There we go, Rudy Voller. So you need one more name from this final. I don't know. I'm caught between two names that I know are wrong. So I know Mario Kempes is wrong. And I know, I want to say Kanija. Kanija's wrong. It's someone starting with a B. You've done well to get nine. I don't think I would have got uh, really? so a couple of these, I feel like, sure. Joe, this is already a victory for me. Because I think, look, there you go, yeah, guys. You've, There's you've my brain. There There's my He's brain. <laughs> There's my brain, okay? My brain is just 10 years behind the rest of you lot, right? You might as well have some stabs. You got your I eyes. feel like he was... But it's it's the pronunciation, isn't it? I feel like I he was you are. a... I know he was a striker. I feel like he might have managed them. It's like Batego or Bonvito or like it, Bonvetti or something like that. Ah! <laughs> I don't think I can give you, I don't think I give you those. Uh, no, you can't give me all any. your lives gone anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, happy to, I'm happy to bow out there. Yeah, I think that's a solid nine. What was um, his name? There are two players... Uh, with a B, um, what, there's a defender that scored. Yep. Oh wow! It's quite a, it's quite an B. English name, really. Go on then. It's it's a colour. Blue. <laughs> no, no, another colour would be. Oh, brown. Yep, Jose Brown. Wow. For Argentina, and then the midfielder that you might know is Jorge Burachaga. Oh, Burachaga. Burachaga. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's the uh, other goal scorer, and then Jorge uh, Valdano, the striker. Valdano. That's it. Well done, yeah, that's, uh, they're the three that you could have said, but I respect you got the Germans at least. Um, oh. Yeah, the T at the end there. That was a little nice one. That was a good one. Um, yeah, nine, solid. Right, I you mean, it well sets there. out perfectly. Well. Here we go. For the victory. Yeah, exactly. you, and I've got two here, so you can have an option of which one you would prefer. Okay. The 10 active Premier League players who are in the top 10 Premier League scorers of all time, or... The top 10 highest scoring defenders in Premier League history. Ooh, don't know why, but I'm leaning towards defenders. The problem is with the defenders is it'll have ones from the 90s. I would suggest, <laughs> just to, to keep the drama high, you know, yeah. I would say, yes, with the what defenders, the with the defenders, some, yeah, yeah, there's some there's some older boys in there. Whereas with the, yeah, yeah. With the Prem scorers, they're all active right now in the Premier League. Yeah, I'll go for the active. I one. would go there. I think you'll you'll go deep. You'll youth. go deep on that. You'll go deep on that. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. So, still, still playing. I mean, take ten. It's yours. We'll start off with Mo Salah. Mo Salah is top of the active players. He yeah. is twelfth on the list. Uh, just, just off topic, James. How do you out of Hazard and Salah? Who's the better player? Oh, Salah's the better player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
absolutely all the time. Never have to worry about him. Where we go for next? I don't even even though he's done one season, he might be in that top one hundred already. <laughs> all right. Although he's got. A, does this include this year's <laughs> goals as well? Uh, does it include this? Um, so yeah, I think it's all up to date. Is it? Act. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, so so they're got, all playing this. They're all playing this season. Yeah, because he's got like eight this season plus the thirty six last year. Just get rid of him, Erling Haaland. No, no, really. So that's that's interesting. So it gives me a, at least I know now that forty four is the bottom. Oh, yeah. I'll, you, I'll give you a clue. I mean, it's not really a clue. But for, so your baseline, so number one hundred on this list, has fifty five mm -hmm. goals in the Premier League. There we go. Right. So yeah, I'm, I'm only just Haaland. By the end of the season, Haaland's in there. Because we had a lot of moving, movement in the last few years in terms of goal scorers like Aguero leaving and Rooney going. That's my era, really. Aguero, Rooney. Right. This this season, I've not really... Uh, are you still playing? I wonder if like Gabriel Jesus might just have enough to be above 50. I won't say him for now. Ooh, Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford is in there number 60 on the list there's nobody at chelsea anymore is there oh actually there is raheem sterling lad raheem sterling yeah. is on the list 22nd on the list of all-time premier league nice. goal scorers See, other than salah at liverpool i don't think there's anyone else there off the top of my head anymore unless james milner somehow just for the longevity somehow snuck into the top 100 but would he have 50 plus goals i don't think he would yeah let's try james milner James Milner is number 98, 55 it's goals. just snuck in. Snuck in alongside joint 100th with John Hartson and Eidegger Johnson. Oh, Young Min Son. There we go. Young Min Son, oh, said Sonny. correct. 26th on the list, just underneath Dion Dublin by a goal. Level on goals with Emil Heskey. Great company. Um, I've got five. Who else is in that? Alice Son, Rashford, Sterling kind of style so i do wonder if like callum wilson because he's got a few at bournemouth keeping them up he's done a good few years hasn't he but then he does get injuries so i think that might cost him the 50. let's try kevin de bruyne kevin de bruyne is on the list 75th thank you 64 goals so we're doing this on rounds one instead of points accumulated aren't we yeah, I guess so. We'll do that, because then I can't be bothered to count, count all the scores we've done so far. Basically, you just need a 10 then. Cool. The So, what I would say to you, a bit of a clue, give you a help. So, the ones you've got so far, you've got um, so Salah, Sterling, Hung Min Son. Then there's someone that you haven't got yet. Then there's Rashford. Then there's two more names. Then Kevin De Bruyne. And then a few right. more names. Then James Milner. So, you've got a so lot of the... You've got the top three, Sterling... Hung Min Son Salah. Mm -hmm. I had Jesus in my mind earlier, didn't I? That is a debatable one. Do you know what? We've only used one life. Let's let's try Gabriel Jesus. Correct. There we go. Jesus to the rescue. Yeah. He scores. Saved us all. Yeah, he's done it again. He's the saviour. He's done it again. Where is he? Uh, he is 65th <laughs> on the list. There we go. Um, he is level with another answer Ooh. on 70. He is also level with Eric Cantor. Ooh, do I have to, ooh, I wonder if Dominic Calvert-Lewin's got enough, but he's always injured again. But he's a good, like, 10 goals a season. He's been there a good six years, hasn't he? So that'd be 60 in my head. Yeah, do you know what? I'll try DCL. Let's try Dominic Calvert-Lewin. DCL is not tenable. Just unlucky with the injury record, isn't he? He probably would be there yeah. if it wasn't. Uh, so, yeah, two lives gone. Seven there. One to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I've got a name, and I'm thinking Willian, because he did score a few at Chelsea. Didn't do great at Arsenal, but then he's come back to Fulham and done well. Just wonder, is that a sneaky one in there? I'd say he's only at Chelsea three years, though, and if he's only scoring 10 a season, Was he only at Chelsea? 30, Two, and then three he's going to get another... T in, my, in my head, oh, in he's head, only been right. there three, maybe four years. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. maybe he was there longer than I thought. <laughs> Who else is... Oh, there we go. Danny Welbeck, get him on there, surely. You going for it? Yeah, yeah. Oof. Yes, Danny Welbeck's on there. there. Go. 63 oh, goals. Right yeah, one goal this season. He is 78th on the list. Uh, he has the same amount of goals as another person who's available. Oh, he's got the same amount of goals as Dean Holdsworth and Alex Alexis Sanchez. Alex Alex Sanchez. <laughs> Alex, Alex is the new, Sanchez. The new side in. Yeah. I wonder if like Anthony Martial would have 50. But again, the, inj the injuries are such a massive thing in a lot of these players. They're great players, but just not fit for long enough. Do you know what I said him earlier? 
I said him earlier. I'm going to try William. Okay. Lock it, right? Are we locking? We're locking. Locking, locking William in. Go on. Just because I can't think of anyone else. Okay. William is not on the list. That's my third life. Go on. He was at Chelsea for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years. That's Scored. Crazy. In my head, it was like three. Yeah, th over 300 games, 339 games, 63 goals, but I think only 44 in the Premier League. So he was close. It was what Harlan's a season and a half. Exactly. Uh, okay. Not bad. Shall I? Shall I? Yeah, like give me know. some clues, the final lot. So this will sting. Callum Wilson. Yeah, did say him. Did say him. The, the injuries there, I thought he just hadn't had. 84 goals, 50th. Mm. So, yeah. Not bad. So, 80, yeah, he's in 50th. He's the highest of the ones you didn't get. 66th place, same amount of goals as Gabriel Jesus. Danny Ings. Ah, should have got Danny Ings. Yeah, just for that. that Southampton, yeah. West Ham. That was one of those I was like, he's hidden. I Liverpool. feel like he's quite hidden because he's not mm -hmm. really playing football right now. Yeah, just in the... That's what I was trying to... To be honest, West Ham, I should think. Is there another at West Ham? There is. Jared Bowen? No. No? It's the man keeping him out, Danny Ings out of the side. Really? Mikel Antonio? 63 goals, same as Danny Welbeck. 77th yeah, on the crazy. list. Uh, 81st on the list, Anthony Martial. 62 goals. So I could have got it. I could have got it if I just said the names that I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, you've been unlucky. And yeah. the last name, bagged three this year, Chris Wood. Really? New Zealand's finest. Burnley and Newcastle. Is New Zealand. I was thinking Burnley, but I couldn't think of any current... There's obviously no but current Burnley players, but there's Ings and Wood. Yeah. Who have both played for Burnley. That's true. But, uh, yeah, you do win the episode, James, so well done. I'll pat on the back. <laughs> From nowhere. <laughs> You've extended it to a third round. Yeah, I mean, that's all right. I've got to it on a technicality, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, mate, I love it. Winner. Enjoyed it, though. It was good fun. Yeah. Very, very good episode indeed. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you check out James or the football related content he does. There's everywhere Spotify, YouTube, the lot. Just follow him. He's a great, great person for football content. And we'll catch you all next time.